hello everyone welcome to the channel again today we are going to predict the winners of the ufc 305 going on in perth australia this weekend we are going to predict the main event our main card uh, i think uh, it will be on sunday in australia so you have to uh, keep to the time you have to uh, actually uh, uh, know the real time that is taking place because of the time difference um the first card the first fight on the main event is uh link Jillian leash the leash versus carlos Pritt. uh link Jillian, i think he lost his fight uh last fight against uh daniel rodriguez uh, if you remember the fight in september 2022 it was a split decision and uh you know people are saying uh the leash was robbed you know like uh he was supposed to win that fight because uh, the fight was very competitive and uh, i think i think he won the fight so but it was uh uh it went to the rod uh, they gave the rod the, the win so uh today he's fighting carlos Pritz, uh a brazilian guy so i think the guy came from the kickboxing background so um i'm picking the leash to win I think with the experience of the leash he has fought killers in the octagon and this carlos Pritt is a new guy you know i think he has just fought only two people or rank fighters in the ufc so uh you know uh, the leash has fought kamza chimaev he has fought d road he has fought uh, many tough fighters so with the experience i think uh he will be able to to win the fight so i'm i'm picking uh lee to win let's go to the next one the next one is uh tied to versa versus jazino rosenstruck uh, tied to versa is on a four losing streak now he has lost his last four fights he fought sirigan he lost he fought uh pablovich i think he lost he fought volkov he lost then he fought tybura he lost so four losing streak is not good for his resume so i think he has to win this one by force because if he doesn't win um you know he might be cut off of the ufc ah, that's five losing streak you know he, you know he, he has never fought for the belt before you know so i don't know he has to win then uh jazino rosen track um i think he won his last fight against gazev um so he has been on the i think two or three win streak now so um i don't know it will be a very tough fight for two of them because um tied to versa it's is is determined to win this because this is like the last straw so i'm going with uh on this one i think i'm going with jazinho i'm going with jazinho rosa track on this one because uh i don't think tai tuvasa can actually undo pressure a lot you know if you know the way he fights it doesn't i don't think it can it can undo pressure you know we have seen it we have seen it in his last fight and jazino has a kickboxing background is a very good kickboxer so i believe he will bring the pressure to tai and uh you know tai might give up so i'm going with jazino the next fight is Matthias Gamrot against Dan Uka. Gamrot uh, is currently number five right now, I think, in the lightweight division. He won his last fight too. I think he's on a winning streak too. Dan Uka just came back from injury too. Like uh, I think he won. He won his last fight too, right against that tall guy uh what's his name i've forgotten his name so i think it was he, he got injured after that fight then um uh, now he's coming back uh danuka is a striker he's a very good striker gamrot is a wrestler he's a very good wrestler and gamrot has said he will use his wrestling to actually take him down and you know destroy him maybe submit him or choke him out or something so it's going to be a very good fight poland uh, versus new zealand um on this one i'm going with gamrot on this 
I'm going with Gamrot because if you're a good wrestler, you know, uh, with his resume, he has fought a lot of tough guys too. So I'm going with Gamrot on this one. The next one is Kai Kara France versus Steve Essig. Steve fought for the belt against Pantoja, right? Recently, and they lost. He lost the title fight against Alexander Pantoja. And Kai Kara France has been off for a while. I think he was supposed to fight Manuel Kapi at one point, but he got injured, right? So uh, he's coming back now. It's going to be a very tough fight. He has fought uh, top five uh, killers before. He has fought Brandon Moreno for the interim title, right? So he lost uh, due to, I think, a kick in the liver. So with this one, I'm going with Kai Kara France. I think he's still hungry. He's, uh, you know, the time off uh, didn't really help his situation. So, but I think he has prepared very well for this. So I'm going with Kai Kara France on this. The main event, the title to fight. Draco Stoplesis versus Estrella de Sonia. Uh, this is going to be a very tough fight with all the emotions you know coming to the fight you know i think uh we have seen the press press conference you know easy was crying and stuff like that i think what duplexes wanted to do is to get into easy's head you know just you really need to be calm and uh, i know easy know what to do this is not the first time you know he knows what to do but I think his game plan, uh, Draco's game game plan is to is to get into your head and you know make you come into the octagon. When you are fighting emotionally, it will affect you. It will affect you. You know, you might make some mistakes and stuff like that. So Israel Adesanya knows what to do. He has been in this situation before, and uh, you know he came on top. You know, he fought Alex Pereira like this we you know coming into the octagon with determination and he won you know he fought polo costa the same way you know polo was if you watch that fight before the fight polo was all over social media you know messing with israel addison you know posting some funny memes about israel and stuff like that so and we all know how the fight went you know israel uh, you know knocked him out in round two or so so i think the game plan here is to make sure you're patient and uh, you know study your opponent very well and um, you know execute your plan so on this one i'm going to with israel adesoya i believe with the hunger we have seen in him we have the preparation and everything he's ready to recover the belt he's ready so i'm going with him so what are your predictions who do you think will win drop your comment like this video share thanks for watching see you later